let's talk about options. I'm going to make a few videos on fundamentals, fundamental concepts of options. This will be part one. I'm going to, I'm going to cover strikes, months, and then a few strategies. Let's go into strikes. Strike selection is very important because your option will behave differently and give you different characteristics depending on where it is relative to the current stock price. I'm going to use Snapchat, and Snapchat right now is around $11. Now, I'm comfortable with the fundamentals of Snapchat. I know it's been in the $40, $50, $60 range and almost $5, $6. So that gives me an idea of the value. I know it's going to grow over time, so it has a bright future. It's growing between 10 and 20 and sometimes even more than that every year. It's finally profitable. So given that fundamental valuation, I'm going to be bullish and I'm going to focus on the calls. And depending on the call, I will get a bigger exposure or smaller exposure, or I will get some time decay. Time decay is when I pay for an option that's far away or above $11. And this is upside down, so 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. If I buy a further higher up option or on the table it's lower, I am paying for the option to buy at a specific strike higher up. So my break even is higher up, and, and I'm paying for that. So let's here's an example. If I'm buying the 13 call, call means up, call up. I'm paying, in this case, 12 cents times 100. One option controls 100 shares. So I'm paying 12, 13 cents, $13, because times 100. And I'm, I get to buy it. I get the privilege of buying it at 13, which is higher than the current price of 11. So in order for that option to make money, it has to go past 13 and more than what I paid. So maybe 13.50 or 14, or 15, or 100, but it has to be higher than my strike. Now, if I buy a deeper in the money, which means below the current stock price, let's say I buy the five call, that, that option will have an easier time making money, but it costs more. It has less leverage, but there's less or almost no time decay. Uh, theoretically, I might be paying five, maybe six, let's say six dollars because it's 550 on 650. If I pay six dollars, six plus 11, uh, six plus five, which is a strike, is 11. I'm buying the five strike, which means I'm paying six dollars and my cost basis will be six dollars plus the five strike, which is 11. So there's no excess premium in this example uh, except a few cents. I start making money right away. If it goes to 13, I should already be up two dollars. However, I am paying $6 in this example, which means $600 to control 100. It's a, it's a bigger option, but it makes money right away. I have to have $600 in this trade, or I, have, or I can have $13 in the other trade. So you see how if I think it's going to go up a lot, maybe it'd be worth it to buy that gambly option but my break even, my cost basis is higher up if I'm gonna use that high leverage option. If, if, I, if I knew the future, which I don't and nobody else does, uh, you, would, you would know exactly which one to buy. But if you're more conservative and you want the best cost basis and only a little bit of leverage, you're, you're gonna look at those in the money options to, to be more conservative, have a lower cost basis, still uh, that five strike is still two to one leverage. So it still doubles your upside and also doubles your downside. If you buy the 11, 11 strike, you're overpaying 62 cents for the premium and you start making profits from, from 11 plus the 62. From there on, you make money. So that might not be a, a bad choice for some, some people, and you can't lose more than the premium. And that's just for calls. This is just strike selection. The next video, I'm gonna cover how each different month behaves. So that's another variable. 
the strikes behave differently, and then the months over time, they behave differently. Why don't you follow and you can see the next one.